Hello and welcome. Um, this is Renee Owens and this is my studio. And we are testing out the Artistic Ideal Studio Handmade Watercolors. Um, so this was gifted to me by Diane from the Watercolors Beginners and Beyond group. Um, a long time ago, several, several months ago, and I still never tried them. Two, three. They are handmade watercolors, and they're beautiful. But I took a four-month hiatus because of personal issues. Um, and I just, I couldn't bring myself to paint for whatever reason. Um, so anyway, my other issue is that they are covered in glitter and I don't want that in my normal brushes or my normal water. So I have this separate thing of water that I'm going to put sparkle water in and I'm going to use this Crayola brush, which is actually decent by the way. I just don't want this paint on my Simmons brushes or on my pictorial brushes because I don't want to fit the room. So I, I, before starting this video, went ahead and set this all up. Um, and now I'm realizing I left four extra slots. So if artistic ideal sees this, just so you know, I, um, I thought I had more. <laughs> so anyway, let's get painting. I don't know if any of these have pink colors, but, oh, really interesting. So it looks gold in the pan, but I put it on here and it is a burnt color. Almost a burnt umber, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's so very sparkly. So very sparkly. I'm going to get out a thicker brush and I pick up this one. I think that'll do it better. I'm going to grab more paint this one. So it's almost got the quality of interference paints and granulation paints all in one. So they're so very pretty and sparkly. I may just have to, you know, use them often. So that's weird because it may change on different on black paper, but if we look at the gold, the gold turned out brown, the purple turned out a uh, uh, brown. It can't be the water because I have distilled water. So it should be pH neutral. I forgot to do this. Right, there we go. I have to get out a second sponge now that I did that accidentally. The whole point of this is to see them bleed together, so it shouldn't be like, uh... There is not much difference in these paints. But I am going to pull out some black paper, folks. Because this deserves some black paper thoughts um, after I'm done. And we're going to keep doing the video and show that black paper, because maybe... Because there, it's brown again. So that's pink here, brown there. It's got some pink hues, I guess. What's the matter, my love? Hello, Rosa. You beautiful little rose. Oh, he's right in here. Did you get stuck in there? Yeah? Oh, there we go. I'm going to turn that toenail, don't we? Or paw nail, I guess. Hey, this one's blue. The purple one's blue. Huzzah! And if you're sitting there chuckling that I called my cat baby and called myself mama, I bottle fed this baby, so I am mama. Most of our cats have been bottle fed. 
and bottle raised um, for whatever various reasons. Oh look, another blue one. So these really have no order because they are loose in the pan. So, this, well, this, this is a beautiful color blue. I will give it that. Surprisingly, since it looks green in the pan. This looks blue. Let watch it not be blue. It's green. This is so confusing, folks. This is why you swatch your paints. Because look how blue that is. Oh, it's blue on camera. It is not blue. And these are definitely interference paints. I love using some interference paints. I just don't know how to use them. And this one looks green, green and brown. It's another green and brown. I'm almost wondering if the addition of the clove oil is too brown. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. I have not made paint, so I should keep my mouth shut. And last we have this beautiful blue color, which watch is oh. This one's almost true to color. Look at that. Alright, that is lovely, people. So, I'm going to reach over here and pet the cat because she's asking for the pets, small pets. This Mommy, do with your paper, huh? So, excuse me, folks. The paper is up here, and I'm going to lean over and grab some paper. I think I can reach the lot from here. There we go. So, I have a sad story, and when you go to Amazon to purchase paper, be very careful about what size this paper is because. I paid 17 bucks for this, and it's actually should have only cost me three. So yeah, that, that was a fun day. So we're just going to pull one of these out. This thing we did here, we're just going to repeat it on black paper to see how these colors come out. We're going to dry this real quick. Forget this. I'm doing this is because I have cats and I want them to jump in the paper if I set it somewhere else. travel far, I'm still sitting here. Right? He's got the tape. We need Dora. Dora will come here and find us the tape. Hmm. Oh well. Let's just pick a different color tape because I can't find the purple one I had. Back.
and I don't know where I got the tape, honestly. It sticks really well, and I've had it for probably 10 years. It's washi tape I bought so, so very long ago. Probably at Walmart or Dollar Tree or something. It's definitely not sold anymore. So I can't find it anywhere. So anyway, we're going to do the same cross-thatching pattern we did with the other. We're going to add a little more water. Okay, we're going to add a lot more water. And I have magnets, but for some reason they don't want to stick to the pins. They just keep coming off. Um, okay, so again. Anyway, they just keep coming off the pins, even though they have the sticky stuff on the back. So I have not had time to go and use the um, 86,000 on them. So we're just going to do this normally. Oh, that's a better change. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. So that turned out a blue. That's now pink. Look at that. The paper makes all the difference, I swear. So you see how putting it on black paper completely changed the paint colors? And I didn't leave it up there, of course. Not real planned out, is it? Oh, wow. That color by itself is just stunning. Yeah, folks. These are definitely interference paints. These are by Artistic Ideal Studio. Um, there's discount code candy color. So, oh, there's the tape. So if you are interested in these interference colors that are handmade and hand mold um, and very individual, there you are. They come in this beautiful little tin and they smell like cloves. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely preserved with cloves. Um, it's our Stick Ideal Studio on Etsy.com. Once again, Diane from Watercolors of Good or Beyond sent this to me many months ago, almost a year ago, so yeah, she didn't even remember she gave it to me, which is fine. Yeah. Um, there's 60,000 people in the group, how she going to remember who I am, right? So anyway, the links are down in the description if you're interested in this watercolor paint, if you're interested in watercolors beginners and beyond group, to have some camaraderie or take place in weekly contests, um, there you have it, folks. Um, she has many other groups as well, so if you are into drawing, or miniature art, go right ahead and join those as well. They will also be a link to in the description. Um, I'm Renee Owens, and my my website, which isn't up yet, will be called All the Shiny, and it is ReneeOwens.com, but it will be called All the Shiny. So um, because shiny things, because I love shiny things. Um, anyway, have a great day. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos and take a look at the links in the description for more content. Have a great day. Thank you.